in today's video guys i'm going to show you the best nvidia control panel settings for gaming in 2023 and everything which you can somehow optimize in order to get the best fps and the least amount of input delay while playing any competitive games afterwards i'm also going to show you how you can adjust all your color settings to make every game look super colorful and vibrant if it was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel this would help me to say so much and now let's get to this topic okay guys and once we're going to take a look at the best nvidia control panel settings for gaming in 2023 what i want you to do in the first place is of course open up your nvidia control panel which you can find just simply in your windows search bar open it up and it should look a little bit like this here especially with the 3d settings on top which is going to be the main point for our performance there we can see now manage 3d settings and i basically want you to copy all of my settings which i have right now here applied guys i'm going to go through them real quick basically the first one is called image scaling i wouldn't really utilize it here too much well for image scaling it comes down which kind of games you guys are playing as of right now it basically makes it possible let's just say that you run your game at 720p you can basically sort of like upscale it with this feature so it still looks like 10 ATP, but you still get a nice FPS boost. A lot of games do support this, but it doesn't work too well as of right now, so therefore it kind of comes down to you if you want to try this out or not. Ambient occlusion, you're gonna keep on off. Antistrophic filtering, you're gonna keep on off as well. Anti-aliasing, guys, this is basically when it comes down to if you play story games or multiplayer games. Let's just say you play a comp game where you really want to get the maximum performance, maximum FPS out of it, then of course turn it off. Any of these modes is basically helping you as an example. Let's just say that you have objects in the distance that they're not like super flickering or that like edges are extremely sharp this is where you can actually utilize antistrophic filtering and anti-aliasing in order to counter that so therefore those are visual aspects so therefore you're gonna know for yourself if you want to rather go for nicer and fancier graphics or the better performance so therefore turn everything off personally this is what i do and the only thing which i leave on is anti-aliasing gamma correction because this is lightning and it should always look good then next up guys we have a pretty interesting feature here, actually background application maximum frame rate let's just say as an example that you have discord running in the background or google chrome you may be listening through music you know through google chrome you can can actually limit the fps of that window to something like 20 or 30. i actually personally have to turn on because there's no point to actually have like a game running in the background and it's like running at maximum fps and i'm not even playing that game as of right now cuda gpus is only for multiple gpus really important so therefore just simply leave it on all dsr factors you gotta put to off and now the low latency mode guys is where it gets really important because some of the best pros across all esports something like simple who's the best csgo player as of right now is utilizing this actually on on but you gotta know for yourself if you want to rather utilize on or ultra this mode kind of helps you to reduce the time before a picture actually arrives your monitor guys so therefore you should 100 utilize the low latency mode and you get to try it out for yourself which one works better on or ultra personally for me it's ultra so therefore i keep it on that for the maximum frame rate it kind of makes sense guys if you're playing maybe on like a 144 hertz monitor that you don't have your game running at 240 fps for maximum frame rate guys this is now super important as well because let's just say as an example that you may be on a 144 hertz monitor it would make absolutely no sense to have your game run at some absolutely crazy crazy fps like 300 400 something like valorant as an example you know even though you're only playing on 144 hertz a lot of people have it like on something like 3 400 fps which can actually cause thermal throttling because your pc is producing all these extra frames for absolutely nothing of course you can go a little bit higher in order to reduce input delay maybe cap it at something like 200 fps but personally for me as of right now here since i'm playing on a 360 hertz monitor and it's kind of unlikely you know in most games to anyways hit 360 fps super consistently i have it turned off but if you're playing on something like 1 144 165 180 hertz actually make sure to cap it at something like 200 240 fps and you're going to be good to go for the next three options guys you're going to leave it just simply on the preset which was already there given on your pc multi-frame sample ai you're going to leave on off open gl gdi you're going to leave on auto and open gl rendering gpu on auto select this is basically for rendering processes in the background if you're maybe editing on your pc and so stuff like that so therefore just simply leave it on the default ones and now for power management guys this is super important you want to put it to prefer maximum performance not normal don't leave it on the normal one put it on prefer maximum performance so therefore you're gonna make sure that your gpu is not gonna get throttled in terms of power so therefore leave it on that guys and you can always expect your gpu working at its highest possible rate then preferred refresh rate guys of course the highest available whatever that is on your monitor and now for shader cache actually on a lot of games guys if your shader cache is gonna get filled up too much this can actually result in low fps or stutter so therefore i would highly recommend you to put it actually on 10 gigabytes so it gets every time refreshed once this 10 gig threshold is actually reached now texture filtering antistrophic sample you're gonna leave on off now next up guys texture filtering antistrophic sample optimization you're gonna leave on off texture filtering negative lod bias you're gonna leave on allow the next option here texture filtering you're gonna leave on allow as well texture filtering quality you're gonna leave on high performance guys also super important don't put it on something like quality high quality performance straight up high performance because we want to get the maximum amount of fps 
from this guide here guys this is basically the main focus texture filtering trillionaire optimization is basically how fast textures get loaded in games so therefore you're gonna leave it on 100 threaded optimization on auto triple buffering on off and vertical sync now guys it comes down to what refresh rate you guys are again using if you as of right now have a 60 75 hertz monitor some people say that indeed they're putting your v-sync on can actually help you out a lot so therefore if you're on anything above that and your monitor probably already has any sort of like free sync g-sync option don't utilize it but on anything below like 60 75 hertz where most monitors don't even have a sync technology built in actually tried it out virtual reality we don't really have to care about it and vulcan open gl you're gonna leave on auto and with that said we already done here and we click on apply so and once we're done with that guys now in this next step make sure to go over to change resolution and trust me i see so many people who for some reason don't utilize the maximum refresh rate of their monitor they have something like a 240 hertz monitor and they're only playing on 144 or maybe even on 60 because they never change it so therefore make sure the maximum one is actually applied here then we're gonna go over now to adjust desktop color settings and this is how i make all my games look insanely good guys they can see here and the trick behind it is to select your main monitor and take a look at digital vibrance this one you want to put to 75 percent guys anything between 70 and 80 percent looks the best in my opinion so therefore you can try it out however you want to but definitely 75 percent looks insanely good and additionally to that step guys we're also now going to go here to video and adjust video color settings and there we have another one which is going to be saturation so again same thing select your main monitor and put your saturation as well to 75 percent and trust me any games you guys are playing are going to look so much better afterwards then again click on to apply apply your changes to your monitor and then we're already good to go guys these are the best nvidia control panel settings for gaming in 2023 and i hope i helped you out